Hello lovely people. So in August of this year I went to Spain. I had my camera by that point and was taking a fair amount of video, so I thought what better time to put all that together into a YouTube video than, you know, like four months after the fact. So without further ado, here's my trip to Spain. My journey began in Logroño. I was staying with one of my friends and her family. She's become pretty much a Spanish sister of mine. They lived on the top floor of a high-rise building, which in Europe is pretty much the norm. One of my favorite things about Logroño and their house in particular were all of the cool paintings. I went on a veritable tour of cathedrals, starting with Logroño. We went on a road trip, which you'll see later, but it continued in Burgos, which is a cathedral famous for its vaulted ceilings and the fact that if you're rich enough, you could pretty much build an annex on it anytime you wanted. On to Leon, which is famous for falling down and its beautiful stained glass windows. And finally, to Santiago de Compostela, which has a particular place in my heart. Santiago de Compostela is famous because it is the burial place of St. James the Apostle. Now, I'm in no way religious, but here, with the organ playing and hearing all of the pilgrims who have walked, in some cases, thousands of miles to get here, it was easy to believe in the sanctity of a place. My particular story with Santiago began about four years ago. I was supposed to go, but due to circumstances outside of my control, I couldn't. Even though I hadn't walked hundreds of miles, it still felt like a pilgrimage. We visited the Pilgrim's Mass, which is famous for the burning of the incense, which, as you can see, the priests are pretty serious about making sure the incense burner travels throughout the cathedral. I then found a very interesting sign for an emergency exit in an outdoor plaza. One of my favorite days was spent at a Muslim castle. There was a helpful sign that reminded us not to fall off the mountain because it was in fact a mountain, and the Spanish didn't seem particularly fond of guardrails or tour guides or anything like that. So we could and did climb pretty much everywhere on this castle, including the Catholic cross that was added almost a thousand years after the original construction of the castle in 1100 CE. It was about 104 degrees, but that didn't stop us from climbing up another mountain to visit a cross that afforded beautiful views. One of my favorite being the mountain known as the Sleeping Lion. It made me wonder what would happen if he woke up. We spent some time also on top of other mountains visiting Dolmenes, which are the burial mounds of the Iberian people from almost 3,000 years ago. After that was the road trip. I'm standing in front of a lighthouse in front of the ocean, and it's really windy! We eventually made it all the way out to the ocean, as I'm sure you can tell, and particularly Las Islas Sies, with more beautiful views and crashing waves. Next was on to a smaller village in Asturias, where they fished for crawdads late at night. And then another adventure. I'm gonna fly in there. I was rather nervous, but after watching my friend and her family take off, it was my turn. Like I said, I was mildly terrified, but once we were in the air, trusting my able pilot, I barely had time to feel scared. Only the wonder at being in a tiny metal tube with nothing in between me and the ground. Before I knew it, it was time for me to land. One of my final adventures was to see dinosaur footprints, but I even got to see a real dinosaur. Well, sort of. But that was more or less my trip to Spain. There are a lot of wonderful things that I didn't catch on film because I was too busy living it, so I hope you'll forgive me. 
it had its rocky patches, but overall it was an absolutely amazing trip, and I'd go back in a heartbeat. But for now, the next adventure is probably Chile. <laughs>